Okay, let me give you a quick guide on how the NDI audio meter works in relation to the built-in audio alerts that are in vMix. Uh, in some ways, they're quite similar. They both have a threshold control and they both have a timeout. So if the level goes quite low, you will get an indication in vMix. as indeed happened just then. And you get a similar indication in the NDI no audio meter. The difference is that vMix doesn't differentiate between low audio, which is below the threshold that they allow you to set, and no audio when you've completely muted a channel accidentally. So what can happen is if you stop talking, but you've still got your microphone open, and the level drops below the threshold that you can set in vMix, and that level is minus 40, so it doesn't really go down as low as it might do, then you get the low audio indication popping up. And that can be quite annoying because you haven't really got no audio. It's just that you've, you've, you have simply got low audio that is going to return as soon as someone starts talking again. Uh, what you want to know is when you've actually muted it and you've killed it completely. So... Uh, in the no audio meter, you can set the threshold much, much lower so that if there's any kind of noise floor coming through from the microphone channel, then the meter will pick that up and it'll say, OK, there's low audio, but there's not no audio. Um, and to illustrate the difference in terms of what happens with the no audio meter when you really have muted the microphone, if I kill the output completely, so we've now got nothing on the meter, the meter falls down to zero. Within the timeout period, the no audio meter starts flashing that you really have got no audio. And if you've got something like an external uh, light hooked up via a USB relay, then that starts flashing. Um, you can also have audio alerts if you have a spare audio output that you're not using for vMix, you can send the output from the no audio meter and that will start making a horrible noise in the background, <laughs> although not normally like that. Um, the other things you can do, um, I know why it's doing that, is because there are several things sending audio to the same uh, source. Um, you can have an NDI output, so it will send um, the same kind of output as you have on, on the little user interface. You can output that as an NDI signal, uh, and that also includes audio. Um, so that's one of them. Let's see if that's uh, improved. Yeah, so that's the normal sound. <laughs> the problem there is that I had the NDI output and the... Um, main interface both feeding audio to the same device not a good idea use one or the other um, so you can have that audio there's also a companion application which is just a window that you can uh, resize and move around and you can run this application either on the same machine as vmix or you can run it on a different machine as long as it's on uh, the network they will communicate you basically set up the ip address you put the ip address of vmix into this application and it then communicates so that will mimic what's happening if i uh, put the master output back on again then that's showing okay audio if i stop for a moment it shows low audio just like vmix does um, and of course, when you mute the channel completely, then um, it'll tell you that there's no audio. So that's the basis of it. Um, in order to get the external light controlled, you need any of these little um, USB relays, HID, human interface device, uh, relay devices that you can pick up on eBay for five to ten dollars that sort of price 
and um, you, you can get them in various configurations. This particular one is a, a two channel one with two relays. You can also get a single channel one. And um, my device consists of uh, a, a car accessory LED light, the sort of thing you'd buy to put on the back of a, a truck or pickup or whatever. Um, wired to the relay and then it goes to a connector that basically takes a 12 volt input from any kind of 12 volt supply you've got knocking around you know be it um, one of these sort of things or um, the type that's got a mains plug built into it wall wart type of thing doesn't take a lot of current um, or you can have it switching mains lights you can basically once you've got a relay you can do anything you like with it.